Want to lose weight? There's a Photoshop way to do it. I'll show you how. We're going to take this picture and we're going to go ahead and open it in Photoshop to start. And once we've opened it in Photoshop, we can use the liquify tool to shrink some weight, to give some digital dieting, as I like to call it, to make it better. So to use the liquify tool, we go to filter, go down to liquify, and then we're going to go ahead and hit liquify. It will open up this picture in its own special like sub software of Photoshop. Pulls up this tool, something like this. Now to do this, we need to go ahead and freeze some situations to make sure some, some things don't change as I kind of give a little bit of nip and tuck uh, to the guy's belly. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go ahead and freeze portions of this. And to do that, I use the freeze mask tool right here on the left side. The freeze mask tool. Now I can make this brush bigger or smaller with the bracket keys right next to the letter P. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to freeze the areas that I don't want to be affected too much. I need to nip his belly in, but I don't want to really do much to the other areas of the picture. Because this is a clean background, there's not a lot of other uh, like clouds or distractions or people going on in the background. This makes it really simple. So if you have one with a simple background, it makes it much more believable because we'll start to modify and to tuck everything. And we don't want to affect anything here. We want to freeze that portion in here. And we don't really do much to his arm at this point. Something like that. I'm going to freeze in parts that are in better shape to begin with something like that now if we had a lot of distractions we could freeze them in the background but the background is pretty simple and clear right now uh, then we're going to go to the pucker tool the pucker tool is in the upper left the s is the shortcut this is another type of brush and i'm going to make a very large pucker tool the larger the better uh, so it helps to tuck it in i think if you go too small it doesn't have as, as much effectiveness but i have a large one i'm going to go and click and drag I'm going to freeze a little more of the side of the belly for now, the part that I don't really want to be affected much yet. Right in here, we're shrinking some of the other parts, something like that. Let's freeze in that. Pretty good. About like that. Now I'll freeze the whole picture. I'd probably just make a picture. But we'll freeze it up like that. Go to my pucker tool. Make it pretty big. And I'm going to go ahead and just pull it in. I want to make sure the show backdrop is off. That makes it so I can actually not see uh, the results. And freeze more of his book there that is starting to need some freezing. Nice and small. I can zoom in with Control Plus, and get more clear. Make sure the book is not being affected at all. Something like that. Now let's zoom out. Control Zero or Command Zero to Mac make it fit. Come with my pucker tool, make it pretty large. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. Basically, pull in the belly. Oops, probably freeze a little more of the side that I don't want to be affected. I'm going to go ahead and freeze in here. I don't want to affect this portion much at all. With this part, I just want to bring in, bring in the belly, something like that. And I'll start to pull it in a little bit, something like that. If you go too much, you'll start to have some interesting pattern effects. But it's starting to show better like that. I'm going to go ahead and unfreeze everything. I'm going to use this thaw mask. Make a nice big brush to unfreeze everything again. I can do the same thing for the arm. I want to go ahead and freeze parts of his arm and maybe a shoulder to tuck in some of the weight there. So if we come up here, something like that. Freezing the rest of them at this point. Coming with my pucker tool, I'm gonna go and just pull it in a little bit. And pull it in. Oh, we need to freeze a little more of his shirt at this point. Something like that. And pucker tool. The melt, almost like lipo section. Just pull some of that fat away. Shrinking some of the arms. If you go too extreme, it can be up to too much. I might have done a little bit much. I hit my OK. And we can see now that he has lost a significant amount of weight from before and after. Now, this is no excuse for not getting out and exercising and making sure your body's in good shape. But a little bit of Photoshop, how to, and they do it all the time in advertising photos for good or for bad or for other problems in body image. What we can start to lose is sucking a little bit of that belly, sucking some of the, of the extra fat around the arm within the liquefied tool. So that's all there is to it, how to make someone lose weight in Photoshop. Now, there's no excuse to exercise and doing what's appropriate uh, in the gym and getting out and enjoying nature. Uh, but if you have any comments or questions, put them down below, and I'd love to answer and help you out in any way I can.